hi in this one i am about to talk of transform of derivative i've put in this video under the topic intro to laplace or laplace transform part two it is very important that we know how to convert differential functions or derivatives into laplace transform because we have a lot of applications for that so i decided to talk about only transform of derivatives in this video as an introduction that will help you so that once i'm working on functions that are derivative function when i convert i can direct Direct you here to look at this one okay so we are coming to transform derivative using notations and we will be quick with this one now we have a function f of t when i have a function f of t the first derivative of f of t is f bar or f1 of t which is what i have here the second derivative is f bar bar or f11 of t the way you want to call it and then f triple bar of t represents the third derivative so I've put it in a diagram form. F1, F2, F3 represent first, second, and third derivative respectively of f of t with respect to x. Of course, I'm going to use x to represent the notations. So before I begin, kindly subscribe to this channel. Please take some few seconds. Click on the notification button if you want more updates. My name is Daniel and let's start what we have today. So now, let's see how we can represent this one with notation with respect to x. So in the beginning, I said that let f of t be equal to what? x. So assuming f of t is equal to x, then f bar which is the first derivative of the function should be equal to x naught the second derivative of the function should be equal to x naught naught okay then the third derivative of the function f triple bar of t should be equal to x naught 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 okay x triple dot now with this knowledge what will happen if t here is equal to zero so at t equal to zero this becomes f of what zero and x becomes x naught at t equal to zero this becomes f1 or f bar of zero which is the same as x1 like this a subscript again at t equal to zero this side becomes f bar bar of zero which is the same as x subscript two then finally you can continue like that finally at t equal to zero f triple bar of zero will give us x three now let's end it here this is very simple for us to understand because it is x not x1 x2 and so forth that we are going to use to transform a derivative function into what laplace transforms so this and this are very very what important now before i continue let's assume that the first derivative of the function x was supposed to be what dx dy this was what was equal to what f bar of t which is the same as x dot so if i have the square x over dy square i'm going to get f double bar of t which is the same as x dot dot so don't be confused i just didn't talk about this one so this is still the same thing so i'm working on the function with respect to x now let's find the laplace transform let's assume that the laplace transform of the variable x is equal to x bar okay so let me put that down for you then what will be the laplace transform of the remaining function i've already done this one so what will be the laplace transform of x dot x dot dot and triple dot or f1 of t f2 of t f triple bar of t which is the same as this one's how would we get that we are going to apply this knowledge so now let's take the first one now from this knowledge the laplace or the laplace whatever we want to call it the laplace transform of this one which is l of x dot or let me take l of f1 or f bar of t will be equal to now watch carefully we multiply the result x bar by the complex part in laplace transform which is s so this becomes s okay x bar then you pick minus what x naught all right so minus x zero this is the laplace transform of f bar of t which is the same as the first derivative of what x 
and the second one the laplace transform of the second derivative which is x not not or f double bar of t which is what i have here what will be your answer now don't forget that for second derivative we were squaring so this time we will square the s so for second derivative all we are saying the laplace transform of this is s square times our x bar minus if s square is here we reduce the s square to what s so minus s times what our hot x naught minus our hot x1 you pick the next one which is this one when we move here we will pick x2 do you get it so now the laplace transform of x dot dot the second derivative of x or f double bar of t is s square s bar minus s x naught minus x1 remember that this will be very useful in transform of derivative anytime you have a function that you are supposed to find its laplace transform you need to reduce it into this form before you can solve now let's do the final one a laplace transform of x triple dot which is the third derivative of the function will be what it's very simple you cube it because if i want third derivative if this cube x over out dy cube which is the same as f11 of t equal to this one two three okay so now s is cubed so this result is s cubed multiplied by your x bar minus from s cube you go to where everyone knows s square s square multiplied by your x naught okay so then we are moving to this side we move to minus s from s square you go to s pardon me because of the line so s multiplied by your x1 you are not done then we come and pick the last one minus x2 you can continue this to the fourth derivative now this is very important so this video will help us to solve all transform of derivatives by applying this principle now remember that um, i have taken functions under this one that you can see they are, i have arranged them accordingly in this same playlist under this introduction so i'll end this video here my name is daniel and thank you for joining me here on teeth i think please subscribe to this work if you haven't support this work by sharing with your friends who really need this and i'll see you in the next one